What do you think, Joey? Should we do a lawn video today? What do you think? You don't know? So this is Joey. He's 12. He is a Westie. The last time I showed the Westies on camera, many of you said you wanted to see more Westies. So uh, both of our Westies are rescues. We've had four of them now. Our one that we had for about 10 years passed away last year. And then we've rescued all of them. So we've had a lot of fun with this breed. Um, so we just continue to get them. But Joey usually likes to hang out with me in the yard. Fiona is our other female. And she is, she doesn't really like hanging out in the yard too much. She doesn't like noises a lot, so. Tonight I want to show you a couple things going on with an update on the backyard. And also show you the backyard in this type of light scenario where honestly it probably looks the worst out of any time of the day. So I'll show you what that looks like too. So here's the backyard in shining lime green glory at this time of night. Sun comes down this way, and especially from this angle, it kind of just does not look very good. So the time of day really does make a difference. And I'm sure you probably notice at different times of the day, your lawn will look different. So it's just kind of the way the sunlight bounces off of everything. So here's the yard as it looks right now after I cut it to two and a half. And then I did a little experiment over on this side with the manual reel. Alright, so I have this thing set as high as it goes, which according to the manual is about two and a quarter inches. So, I've got this now taken down. You know, it looks a little bit stressed out right now, but it does have a much flatter look. And I think over time here, once it gets adapted a little bit lower too, it will it'll look pretty good at about that height. I'd like to keep going with the manual reel a little bit more and experimenting, even if it's kind of just a small section like this to see what the differences are between that versus maybe right next to it doing a rotary. Um, so that's an idea that I have. I don't know if I will continue that or not, but I really, really like using that little machine right there. It's just kind of fun to use. And I don't mind doing a little bit of workout with it too, even though surprisingly, it does not take as much power to run it as you, manually as you would think it does. The other thing I'm gonna do is backlap that reel on that reel mower before we start to use it on the renovation area. I know that it's never been done before and although I didn't do a ton of cutting with it last year, it was used. I don't really know how much the previous owner used it, but it's looking to me like it needs to be a little bit sharper. So we're gonna give it a fresh backlap. The idea of why I got that little mower was that once you do renovations, um, it's fine to use a rotary mower or whatever you wanna use, but the lighter the machine you can put on there and the better the cut, which a real mower will come in and cut just like a scissors does when it's completely dialed in, the better that it's just gonna be, especially on new grass. And when you don't have to put a, a heavy machine on there, this thing's so easy to pick up and move around. I just had a great time with this thing on the other renovation last season that I've been looking forward to finding another reason to use it again. And I like using it at like the lowest setting that it goes to, which is around an inch. And so I haven't been using it anywhere else in my yard right now because I'm lower than an inch on the front yard and I've been way, way higher than an inch on the backyard. But the renovations are coming and this thing will be an essential part of that. Remember I used this no handle rake not too long ago on the side yard when I did some aerating and we're back at it today. So let me show you something right here. What I've been doing is coming through here and we're just raking. There's something about these plastic rakes. They work in a lot of scenarios because they don't do any damage, really minimal damage to the grass, but they do a great job of combing through things. And so what happens, you'll see here, is this little section, even though it looked perfectly flat when we cut, is not being cut at all. So go through that yard with your rake, cut it, go through the yard with the rake again, go in a different direction, cut it. Keep doing this until we're not finding all of these areas that are being missed. The other thing that's been going on is we've pretty much stopped all of our rain that's been happening and so it's getting pretty dry here. 
I watered about half of this yard yesterday, this half like right over in here, and I need to do this half hopefully tonight. We're going on a few weeks or so without rain now of any really significance, and of course, even 85 degrees yesterday, it was 90 here. It does not take very long to lose a lot of that moisture. Kind of at the same time here as I'm doing all that, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping irrigation going so that whatever stress I'm causing from the lower cut, we're adding in the water back to that just kind of minimize things and push things along here. Look at this awesome hose that we have here. It's really nice. It, it's one of those no kink versions that you can get, except the complete opposite. This one has a 1000 in it right now, because I was using it previously on my little side yard area. Putting a 3000 in there, so these will all match. So I'm setting these up not right against the fence so that I can actually get in behind here and adjust these once the water's on. Whereas if I put it back here, I can't come in and adjust it without getting completely soaked. Normally, if I'm gonna use this setup over and over and over again in the same spot, then I'll have them all dialed in. But this one I move back and forth different places, so. All right, got myself a little bit soaked doing that, but we're all set up. So usually we'll just turn this on kind of in the morning whenever my wife gets up a little bit earlier for work. So just kind of turn it on, let it go for a few hours. I'm actually gonna put out one of these things right here, which is just like a tiny little rain gauge. And that helps me to find out how much water is actually going down. So I'll put that down in the morning after I'm done watering, I will take a look at it and see kind of how much we have in there. Well, good morning. I guess this is what it's like to be up and actually see the sun coming up because that doesn't happen very often for me. Getting the watering going this morning, it's looking like it'd be a perfect morning to do a little Electra Real Mow. It's about 59 degrees right now, feels perfect outside, tons of dew on the yard, and also I never get to get up in the morning and see kind of what the front looks like, so there's definitely still some Pythium going on in there, which I can show you here real quick. Hoping this is going to be an easy change out of here, so we'll find out. Hey Joey, morning.
There's one bad thing here about mowing wet grass. This would be it. Little cleanup, good as new. Close. You can see here I still got a few issues with fungus going on. A little bit of browning of the ryegrass that's just kind of, it's kind of had enough of summer at this point. So there's some fungus, there's a little bit of brown, but overall, I can't say that I'm too unhappy with how this looks for this time of year. Over here though, we've got a lot of browning going on down in here. I really think that right now the rye over in this section is kind of getting a little bit toasted. There's also some fungus going on in this section. So what I'm going to let it do is basically just kind of work itself out here in the next few weeks once it cools down and whatever remains I'm going to kind of consider the survival of the fittest and I think that there's still a lot of bluegrass in here that's doing fine so hopefully whatever doesn't come back out of this I will just let the bluegrass thicken up and kind of take over this area. So I turned off the watering back here and I'm going to check how much is in this gauge. Right over 0.5. So that was about an hour and probably an hour and 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. 